Biography of Maki Saul Saul was one of five children born to Amadou Abdul Saul, who was a state worker and then a caretaker of Kumbatimbo, a peanut seller. He was raised in Fatik and Futa Toro, as well as in Boro, from age 2 to 5. Saul's father was a member of the Socialist Party of Senegal, PS, but at the high school in Kaolak, Saul associated with the Maoists at the encouragement of his brother-in-law. During his studies at the University of Dakar, he was involved in the Marxist Leninist movement and Jeff led by Landin Savene. He soon left Anjev since he did not share the ideas of the movement and Savanes, who used a boycott strategy against the PS in the 1983 election, in which Saul voted for the Libra Abdullahi Wadi as he did again in 1988. Saul was a long-time member of the Senegalese Democratic Party PDS. After coming into conflict with Wadi, he was removed from his post as president of the National Assembly in November 2008. He then founded his own party, named the Alliance for the Republic Yaka APR and joined the opposition. Placing second in the first round of the 2012 presidential election, he won the backing of other opposition candidates and prevailed over Wadi in the second round of voting held on the 25th of March 2012. Saul was trained as a geological engineer at the Institute of Earth Sciences IST of the University of Dakar and then at the French Institute of Petroleum's National College of Petro and Engines in Paris. He is a member of multiple national and international associations of geologists and geological engineers. He met his wife, Miriam Faisal, in 1992 when she was a high school student in the city of Diaobel. Saul joined Wadi's Senegalese Democratic Party PDS in the late 1980s. He became Secretary General of the PDS Regional Convention in Fatik in 1998 and served as the PDS National Secretary in charge of mines and industry. He was actively involved in the SOPI campaign which brought Wade to power in the Senegalese presidential election in the year 2000. He was Special Advisor for Energy and Mines to President Abdullahi Wade from the 6th of April year 2000 to 12th of May 2003, as well as Director General of the Petroleum Company of Senegal from 13th of December year 2000 to the 5th of July 2001. He became Minister of Mines, Energy and Hydraulics on the 12th of May 2001, replacing Abulai Basili, who had been appointed Vice President of the National Assembly. Saul was promoted to the rank of Minister of State while retaining his portfolio. On the 6th of November 2002, he additionally became the mayor of Fatik on 1st of June 2002. On the 27th of August 2003, Saul was moved from his position as Minister of State for Mines, Energy and Hydraulics to that of Minister of State for the Interior and Local Communities, while also becoming government spokesman. On the 21st of April 2004, Maki Saul was appointed Prime Minister by President Wade after Wade dismissed his predecessor, Idrissa Sek. On the 25th of April 2004, Saul became Vice President of the PDS Serene Committee. Although Saul was little known at the time of his appointment, he made a strong impression on his maiden address on general policy. Saul served as the director of Wadi's re-election campaign for the February 2007 presidential election, in which Wadi was victorious, obtaining a majority in the first round. After Wadi was sworn in, Saul submitted his resignation on the 10th of April and was immediately reappointed with the government unchanged. Saul remained prime minister until 19th of June. 2007, making him longest serving of Wadi's prime ministers. During his tenure, he set in motion several presidential policies, which had been neglected by his predecessor. In the June 2007 parliamentary election, Saul was elected to the National Assembly as a candidate on the national list on the coalition. After the election, Wadi appointed minister delegate for the budget, Sheikh Ajibo, as prime minister on the 19th of June, replacing Saul, who had resigned along with his government shortly beforehand, then fall out of elections. Saul said that he was proud of what he had accomplished as Prime Minister. Saul was then elected as President of the National Assembly one day later. Saul founded his own party, the Alliance for the Republic Yaka APR, on December 1, 2008. Following the March 2009 local election in Fatik, Saul was re-elected to his former post as mayor in April 2009. In the 2012 presidential elections, 
Saw ran as the candidate of the Marquis Saw 2012 coalition with the slogan, The Path of Real Development. He campaigned across the country without cutting ties with the opposition movement, which protested against Wadi in Dakar, calling for him to be barred from running for a third term. After the initial election, the runoff took place on the 25th of March 2012 and Wade phoned Saul at 21.30 GMT to concede the race with congratulations before the Constitutional Council made the official proclamation that Saul had won with 65.8% of the votes. Saul was inaugurated as the first president of Senegal on the 2nd of April at the King Fad Palace Hotel. Two controversies marked Saul's first days in office. His visit to his French counterpart Nicolas Sarkozy days before the latter's defeat in the 2012 French presidential elections and the publication of his net worth as astonishing 1.3 billion cephas, largely acquired during his tenure as Wadi's prime minister. In January 2016, South supporter proposed constitutional reforms that would limit any president's consecutive terms in office and reduce the term of office from seven years to five in accordance with his promise at the 2012 election. The Constitutional Council refused to allow Saul to shorten his own term of office, but allowed the other changes to be put to a referendum, to the dismay of some of Saul's former supporters. Protests and violent clashes preceded the referendum, which passed on the 20th of March 2016, with 63% in favor and turnout started in excess of 40%.